Welcome back to the Payne's Creek Killings. This episode, I think, is mostly going to be going over stuff that other people have mentioned, things I've missed and things like that. First thing I want to note is that uh, before when I was in Wanda's house and I was reading those notes, I thought Wanda had a daughter and the notes were from Wanda's daughter and I didn't know her name or anything like that. And well, <laughs> as it was pointed out to me, um, Wanda doesn't have a daughter, as far as I know. That was Derek's diaries. It makes a lot of sense because next to all those diaries in that same room, there was... Uh, where is it? Did I? Oh, there it is. There's Derek's knife. Yeah, it, it makes sense that Derek's knife would be in the same room as where Derek is. And all those journal entries. And also, it also makes sense why the one journal entry mentioned that why doesn't Trisha know I like her? Because we know for a fact that that Derek probably liked Trisha. At least we knew that Derek was protective of Trisha. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I did not know, though, that Derek was, uh, I guess, Wanda's son. I've got some new notes here. I'll go over those in just a second. What do I have here on Derek, by the way? The mansion's driver, yes. Yeah, so this is all the information I have on Derek. It's not much. But I definitely need to add some new stuff. So, Derek is Wanda's son. Uh, love Trisha. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. If you're adding a note and you're looking under a certain tag, it looks like it automatically adds the tag to it. Let's add Trisha. Yes, these notes are kind of things, viewers suggested things that I want to go over. So one of the first ones I want to go over is... Somebody mentioned that there was one unopened drawer in Dorothy's desk that I forgot to open. So let's go check that out. That's why I'm inside of Dorothy's home right now. Oh, I guess it was downstairs. Was it this one? Was it that one? I guess it probably was. Well, nothing in there, unfortunately. It was worth a try. Just make sure I didn't miss any other drawers. Nope, that's it. Okay, and when I was leaving the mansion to come here to Dorothy's home, I noticed something kind of funny. So there's a box of, like, awards right outside, or right inside the front door to the mansion. Awards to Vivian Roberts for all the stuff they've done. You know, the Roberts Foundation and the community hospital and all those things. And I just want to give a big shout out to Vivian Roberts for all the great things that Roberts has done. Um, also, I was a little bit confused by this, and I still am. I don't know what the heck this says because it's cursive and I can't really read cursive, but... This is an award to Vivian Roberts, and it's dated 1997? That's a little bit strange, because Vivian Roberts... Vivian Roberts was killed in 1995? So I don't really understand that, unless this is some memorial... Award? It's not really such a thing as a memorial reward, I don't know. It's all sorts of weird. Anyway, let's go deal with the dart situation at Bernard's house. So, we come to Bernard's study room. Right, so let's touch on what people have mentioned. Uh, so we can get rid of this one for Dorothy's desk. Alright, so the big thing is that... I missed something really big here. And that's that there's a dartboard behind the door in this room. But before that, I just want to try something else. Somebody was thinking that perhaps the desk code was 1974, because Bernard's notes apparently mentioned their, uh, I think it was their father, who they were really close with dying 
in this year. So they were wondering if maybe 1974 was the code. Given the dartboard situation, I'm thinking it's probably the dart stuff that will give me the code for this, but let's try it. So, 1974. Okay. Good idea, but unfortunately, not what it is. So what it almost certainly is, is the dartboard. Should it, yeah, it should have been my clue to look behind this door, huh? If you just look up, it's right there. And there's even a dart here, which... Ah, don't know why I didn't think to look up. Yep. So I'm thinking this is probably going to help, huh? <laughs> the only question now is exactly how I translate this into a four-digit code. So let's see. I'm assuming... I mean, I don't know where that dart actually was inside of this. So I'm assuming that doesn't count. I'm going to ignore the one on the floor and just look at the ones that are actually on here. So what was the hint again? Subtract the yellow dart's points from the red dart's total. So what is the red dart's total? Um, now that I know you can take a picture of documents, I went back to the hotel and took a picture of the rules. So the middle, very, very middle is 50 points. Okay, and then this is triple. So 50 points plus triple 20. So that's 110. I should write this down. So red equals 110. Got that here. Yellow equals, we're about to find out. Yellow's in a normal spot, so that's two. Are these rings worth the same? Single scores. Oh yeah, so these are both single scores. So that's just two and seven, so that's just nine. Okay, I tried like everything. I just wrote lots of random notes that don't even make any sense. I tried to turn it into four digits. I tried padding in the beginning with zeros. I tried calculating it front and back. I tried assuming that the note was written incorrectly and you actually subtract the red from the yellow instead of the yellow from the red. And I do not know. I got so frustrated. I spent over an hour on this. Not all that just actually thinking. Some of it I was just frustrated and I just like browsed Twitter on my phone kind of absentmindedly thinking about this until I finally just searched for it online and I found a thread of people discussing this problem and nobody knew someone someone managed to brute force the solution but nobody seemed to actually know how the hell you got those are supposed to get those numbers so I know the solution just because I looked it up but no one seems to know how the hell you're actually supposed to get them so um the way this person brute forced it apparently is adding up the numbers like normal but they assume that this red dart here was supposed to be stuck somewhere in this board so that there's like uncounted points that fell out and I'd consider that but like how are you supposed to know where this was in the board it's I mean it's ridiculous it doesn't make any sense plus what about like the yellow one what if that one fell out too it's in here I'd I don't know, that may or may not have absolutely anything to do with this solution whatsoever. But they basically just started going up in the score one by one, assuming that this red dart was somewhere on the board. And they found the solution, which was 0137, I believe. The zero is just padding out to the beginning because when you subtract one number from the other, you only end up with three digits. So I'm just going to go with that. What did I say? 137? Hey, that's the solution. Thank you, internet person. <laughs> this is the first time I have cheated on any of these puzzles, by the way. I see a key. Yeah, I... I don't know. If somebody knows how you're actually supposed to derive this puzzle honestly, please let me know.
because from my perspective, from what I've seen trying to solve it, and from looking at others confused about it online, it looks like it just doesn't make any sense. Looks like a desk key. Huh. Probably... I don't know what that's for. A desk key. Not a desk code, but a key. I'm trying to think of a desk I've seen that takes a key instead of a code. July 21st, 1995. When the police reported that Vivian was murdered, I was floored. I did not know what to do. My mind went blank. All I could think of was, how did this happen? How could Vivian be dead? July 23rd. Everyone's mourning about Vivian's death. People are coming or calling to express their condolences. Charles hasn't been out of his room for days, and Trisha's carrying her, uh, crying her heart out. Dorothy's been assigning work to all the workers in the mansion, hoping that would take their minds off Vivian's death. Samuel, our security guard, has been reviewing all the tapes for the past two weeks for any suspicious activities. I wish I could be of help. Wasn't there... I remember something from the mansion's security room, I thought, mentioning like a missing tape, right? Do I have anything in my notes about that? So I'm just gonna get rid of all these. Yeah, is there anything here about a tape? Missing security tape, dated June 28th, 1975. Why is this tagged with church? Why is that tagged with church? <laughs> I don't remember why. July 27th. Scott just got apprehended for the murder of Vivian. Is that true? No one would have thought of that. I could never ever believe that Scott is capable of killing someone, let alone Vivian. Yet it makes me so mad. I feel confused. September 29th. Trish is admitted to the hospital today. She had a nervous breakdown after finding out that Scott could be her mom's killer. Her condition worsened over the past few weeks and no one was able to take care of her. Charles finally decided to seek help from the hospital. October 27th. Matthew never did believe that Scott killed Vivian, so he hired a lawyer to help defend Scott. Scott is now released on bail. This is ridiculous. I don't think Scott should be released at all, despite having insufficient evidence to prosecute him. He killed Vivian. I know that he is guilty. Everyone knows that too. November 1st. The maids were cleaning the mansion when they found some stuff belonging to Vivian, uh, a key and some stationery. I asked Charles what he'd like to do with them, but he told me to take care of it. I brought them back to my place. Okay, so that desk key belonged to Vivian. So it's almost certainly for somewhere in the mansion. November 4th. Vivian's death has caused lots of grief to everyone, especially Charles. After hearing how heartbroken Charles was two nights ago, I couldn't bear to see him suffer anymore. Scott should pay for what he did. Okay. Well. It would appear, based on Bernard's journal... It looks like he killed Scott out of uh, jealousy or no, out of anger for uh, his belief that Scott killed Vivian. Also, something I'm thinking, uh, because we know that Trisha died, we don't know how that they died. 
But we know that they are dead. We know that they were in the hospital for a nervous breakdown over the whole thing with Vivian and Scott and all that. And remember the broken railing up above the hospital? I'm thinking... I'm thinking maybe Trisha... But... Why would it be broken? Like, if she jumped off, why would the railing be broken? I don't know. Uh, maybe Trisha jumped from the hospital roof? From... Um... Nervous Breakdown, Scott, Vivian, etc. Broken railing? Trisha, Scott, Vivian, and Hospital. Alright, so let me go back to the mansion and figure out what this key is for. Ah, I think maybe I found it. Up here in the mansion on the top floor, this is, um, I think... Is this the tea room? I think this might be the tea room. This is where we found that letter inside of the clock. From Henry Johnson, about the poisoning and all that. There is a locked drawer right here. Please work, please work. Yes! Please have another key inside. <laughs> no! Oh, oh well. Another diary from Vivian, January 2nd, 1995. Although we live in the same house, Charles and I hardly speak to each other. I know that he's been feeling guilty ever since his affair, but that was 20 years ago. It's time I should forgive him. Next, I need to work things out with Trisha. I've been objecting her relationship with Scott for quite some time. In doing so, Trisha has been avoiding me. I haven't been a good mother, but I want to be there whenever she needs me from now from now on. I just want things to go back the way they were. January 12th. The agency has arranged for a new guy today. His name is Owen Smith, quite a young man for what he has accomplished. During our meeting, Owen asked me many things, as if he was interviewing me. The brief introduction turned out to be hours long. However, by the end of it, he said he has everything he needed and will get things moving right away. I have a good feeling about him. May 12th. Owen called to meet with me today. He had the papers ready for me to sign. He said that the location of the exhibition has been approved. All we need is the down payment. That's great. I signed the papers almost immediately. After that, I informed our accountant, Helen, to transfer the money from the Roberts Relief Fund since the hospital won't be needing it for a while. Owen's been a great help since we brought up the idea of an art gallery for the public. I'm not sure if things could have gone so quickly if it had been some other agent. I owe him that much. June 17th. The art gallery will commence in three months. I'm so excited about it. We have received most of the artwork from the artists. All I need is to ask Charles if he'd be willing to donate some of his paintings. If this exhibition succeeds, it would be good for us and for Paints Creek. I haven't felt this alive in a very long time. Probably because I have a purpose now. I'm not sure what the agency is exactly, but but yeah, it looks like Owen was the one that was in charge of the exhibition. Okay. So was Vivian killed before the exhibition? So this is June 17th on the year that she died and they say, that the art gallery will commence in three months. June 17th. Actually, come to think of it, do I know exactly the date of Vivian's death? Surely I have it somewhere, but I don't believe it's actually in this article. No, this just says 1995. 
but there must be like a newspaper about it, right? Well, I found this article. It mentions the witness seeing Scott walking away from the Roberts mansion. Um, late on July 19th, at almost midnight. So it was July 19th, I think, that Vivian was killed. So July 19th, and when was this again? June, so about a month after this entry, so it was after the plans for the art gallery were in place, but before the actual exhibition. The exhibition was still about two months away. I don't know if the exhibition has anything to do with anything, but... I don't know, I mean, the fact that there's a key to unlock this drawer that basically just talks about this Owen person and this exhibition makes me think it's somehow important. I should note that. So... Uh, Vivian was planning an art exhibition that was being managed managed by Owen S own Owen Smith um, was killed about two months before it opened. Alright, well, unfortunately, that is all the leads I have at the moment. Yeah, I, I'm not sure where to go from here. I've recorded quite a few episodes ahead of what's been posted so far, so I think what I'm probably going to have to do is actually just wait a bit for all of you, the viewer, to... <laughs> all of you, the viewer, the one viewer. <laughs> for all of you, the viewers, to catch up and see if you have any hints. Because it's becoming obvious to me that I've missed at least one big thing because there's all these extra things right like it seems pretty obvious that unlocking bernard's desk drawer was a side thing it wasn't too important it had a key but that just led to this diary up here of vivian's and you know it's, it seems to be giving me backstory and all of that but it's not kind of like a main plot thing where it's like you are supposed to definitely do this because it feels like the main thing i'm missing is either something at the hospital somehow some way to turn the power back on or progress in the hospital and I have no idea how to do that. Or what I think I'm probably supposed to do next is somehow get the key to Oliver's photography where I can get the tools and then that will allow me to do, I think, a bunch of other stuff. I think those are the two big things I'm missing and I suspect it's Oliver's photography key that I need the most to progress. And that feels very much like a main quest thing. I mean, anything that is one of these places mentioned on the map seems like it's a big place that you should probably go to at some point. Because I've been to all of these places, except for the Postal Service and Oliver's Photography. So yeah, I think that's what I need. I think I missed something big. And I don't know exactly where. So I'm going to wait a bit, check out some comments, come back with some fresh ideas, and I'll see you then.